convicted within days and actually recommends the indictment of those elites, Garland will then approve or deny that. And we'll know if there's a disagreement there under the rules. But this wider contrast is the point. It didn't take Germany or Peru two years to identify and charge political elites involved in public coup planning in Peru or the evidence of coup planning in Germany, much of it was secret. And even if you put aside the possibly intricate questions about whether former President Trump now running for office can be charged, we know the DOJ is investigating lawyers like John Eastman because he was publicly searched for his phone. We know they're looking at their own former DOJ official who was a Trump apologist within the DOJ, Jeffrey Clark. He was on record pushing to abuse government power to sabotage the January 6th counting. So while some people do have a tendency in the United States to look abroad and see something different, the clear abuse wall at home, it's more of a mixed picture. How could we ever charge one of our own? Americans don't do that, all that kind of American exceptionalism. The news right now that I'm here to tell you about is just facts, that places like Germany have busted up plots that track closely with the tactics and convicted crimes of the January 6th seditionists. And that the political elites and leaders quite publicly and brazenly trying to end democracy are documented. The difference comes not so much in the plots. We have them here. They have them there. In fact, it's well known in political science that it can happen here. The difference is in our nation's collective response. And I'm not saying, I don't think anyone's suggesting some other country automatically handles this perfectly or should be copied in every step of the way but rather how glaring the contrast is that one ex-leader faces immediate trial for that failed coup, and another is not only scot-free, but running to take power again, having stoked a multi-year movement built on that insurrection, the sedition, the big lie, and ending democracy. So I don't think this is news about something happening over there. It's happening here, now, already. I'm telling you, it's serious. There are experts on authoritarianism who look at this contrast. Professor Ruth Ben-Ghiat explained recently, although before the Thursday events I just told you about, that when an unsuccessful coup is targeted an authoritarian leader abroad, the conspirators are promptly jailed or worse. In the U.S., the party that conspired in the failed coup remains unrepentant, and its leader, far from fleeing the country, She's talking about Trump is, at the time, eyeing a run for the presidency. It's really remarkable. The thing about democracy is, it doesn't work by itself. It is just a collection 